All right, so today I'm going to do something a little different from what I normally do. We're going to be looking at Star System Generator. This is a new mod that is out on the workshop, and I absolutely love it. And for anybody who doesn't want to go through the hassle of creating a world to then pretend you don't know where everything's at and to explore it, this is for you. It creates a random star system from whatever planets you load into your game. It works with modded planets. I have noticed there's some issues when you go to some of the older modded planets. So you might want to stay away from those. Use at your own risk, I'd say, because some of the old ones actually work. It is pretty good. Uh, I absolutely love it. I'm going to load up a world here, and then we'll see where it goes. Now, first, we're going to go through this with the same methodology that, that Patrick recommends in the description. We're going to go into Custom Game. We are going to pick an, an empty system. So it's just an empty world. You in a spacesuit. You're going to want to switch it to survival. It will have to be survival if you want the respawns to work. Uh, I did find this out the hard way, so I want to pass that along right now. Uh, if you create this in creative, the spawn, the respawn mechanics just don't seem to function, which makes sense. We're going to come into mods here, and we are just going to look at planets. We're going to add Eris. And we're going to add Paradise. And that's it. That's all we're going to do for now. Now we are going to go to the uh, System Generator. Oh, right there. We're going to add that in. And that's all for now. Not much. Make it real simple. You're going to want to come in here, change all the settings you want to change. And you are going to want to sp pay specific attention to Turning off the economy. Uh, I noticed aim assist seemed to have some issues, but that may have not been the issue for me. It may have been something else. And we are going to turn off wolves and spiders. And those are already off. Uh, I like to make sure spectators on for obvious reasons. All right. So we're going to come in. We're going to hit OK. We're going to call that good enough for now. And we're just going to call this test one. Because we're going to do another one. And we're going to say start. And you can see we're in this empty world now. Just got some asteroids. Now, if you look at the, the uh, help commands for this, you can see that there are quite a bit of help commands. Now, your results may vary trying to use the page up and page down to scroll through these. Space Engineers is not real good about the text commands uh, and scrolling through messages. Uh, but it's a, it's a keen issue. It's not a mod author issue. He's done everything he can. You'll see that there are a lot of commands in here. First, we've got help that opens this. GPS, I'm not sure what that does, but it doesn't really matter. You've got the radius distance, the distance, distance, inclination angle and degrees, list available, list modded planets. You can look at the queue of what planets it's going to place. Um, you can add planets to the queue, remove planets from the queue. You can just clear the queue altogether, or you can just clear the voxels. But what the mod author recommends for getting started is just to come in here and type in slash random. And then the number of celestial bodies. We are going to leave that blank. Because we don't have very many. So we are just going to hit slash SSG random. If I can type. And your game's going to seize up for a few minutes. It will seem like it's seized up. But that's actually the gate, the mod running in the background, deleting all of the voxels that are in the game, and placing planets. It will take a few minutes, and when it's done, we'll be back. Or not. That was quick, actually. That went rather nice. And when you look in, the, in your inventory, it, you'll see this data pad that it gives you here. This is all of the planets that it placed and their GPS coordinates. So we're just going to create the GPS markers, hit OK, and go to our GPS here and turn these all on. So
So you can see 4,000 kilometers out seems to be the, the median distance. And that is one downside that I've seen to this. Um, it doesn't seem to have random distance from center when you're placing planets. I, I hope that's something that the mod author implements in the future. But it, it's fine because once you're sitting on a planet, you know, one planet's 2,000 kilometers away and the other one is 10,000 kilometers away or 8,000 kilometers away in this case because they're all 4,000 from the center. So this is pretty good. I do like this. I am not in creative mode, but I would suggest when you're doing this portion, you do it in creative mode. Now we're just going to, uh, the mod author tells us that we want to do this. We want to save and exit. And obviously you don't need to hit save separately and then exit. And then we're just going to continue. And now we are going to respawn as soon as we get in. All right, now that we're in, we are just going to hit respawn here. Backspace on your keyboard. And I've lost that data pad now. That data pad, I, I, it's gone. But it tells me all the planets that I'm able to spawn at. So you can see I've got Bylin here, which was added by, uh, I don't remember which. Zai, uh, I don't remember adding that one, so that must be part of the Eris, which is here. Uh, Eris is a nice little ringed planet here, and you can see it gave its moon. Space pod or space suit. You can see that it actually did not give me an Earth-like planet, hence the random. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll back out of here because I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, actually do anything here. Back at the home screen, we are actually going to create a new planet. And what we're going to do is, and this is kind of neat, this is something that uh, he doesn't advertise you can do this, because it, it, it's rather complicated to do this properly. But we're going to start with a star system in survival, and we're going to call this test 2, just so I know which ones to get rid of. We're going to go into mods here, and we are going to add a couple of planets. Let's see, we will add uh, the Lava Planet, Dover Remastered, and let's do Arcana, and Paradise, because Paradise is fun. It sounds nice. And that's all we're going to do for now. Just add the Star System Generator to it, hit OK. Come into the advanced settings. We're not going to worry about most of this for now because it's just a showcase. Turn off the economy system. Which means we probably want to turn off bounties and contracts, although I haven't in the past. It doesn't seem to hurt anything. Wolves and spiders are off. And turn on spectator so I can actually pop around and view things. Okay. This looks good. Start. Okay, now that we're in this world, you can see we've got the standard um, solar system here. We've got the economy turned off because we have to. Now we can spawn at any one of these standard planets that we would want to, but we're not going to. We're just going to do a spacesuit spawn. We're going to turn on creative tools, uh, not because you need to. I don't know if you need to or not. It's mainly just so I don't run out of oxygen and die. So, if you come in and you do the SSG slash SSG list. Oh, not list. List available. You can see that you've got all those planets and moons there. So we've got the Pertam, Earth-like alien. Uh, we've got the moon. We've got Mars. We've got Europa, Titan, Triton, Bylin, Dwight, Core, Moun, Paradise, Unilur, Z, Zai, 
uh, zero, Arcana, Dover, Dover Alternate Ice, Dover Water, Caldera, and KL136. So if we come in here and we do the slash SSG help, and we look at this here, we can actually see that we've got a whole lot of things here that we can do. We've got the list available, we've got radius we can change, we've got GPS, but what I'm specifically interested in here is Q planets and Q moons. So you can see I've got several planets listed as possible planets to spawn. Now I can just come in here and I can hit uh, I can hit uh, add random random number of celestial bodies to the to the queue or I can manually add these planets to my queue. So we're going to add some planets to the queue. Slash Q and my spelling sucks so I'm just going to come down here where I can read it. Slash SSG Q U E U E Oh no, it's not even add, it's add planet and we're going to add, let's see, we will add Dover. Just Dover. And it's added Dover to the queue now. And we're going to come in here and we're going to add, let's see, we'll add Paradise. And we're just going to call that good enough for the planets. Now we're going to come in and we're going to do SSG add moon you can see that uh, command down here it's add moon moon name diameter and then parent the diameter is optional so we're going to add we're going to add unilar to my yeah un unilar to Dover. And we are going to add, we're going to add Z to Paradise. I don't know if those are supposed to be moons. I, I'm not paying attention to which planets I'm using here. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter. So you can see here in the text output, it says um, add planet Dover, added planet uh, Dover 66 kilometers, added planet Paradise 64 kilometers, added moon Unilar, or Un Unlur to Dover, added moon Z to Paradise. So that's good. Now we can come in here and we can do, do slash SGG. SSG because I keep doing that and we can do create this will take a few minutes because it always does with modded planets well actually this went fast this time it must know I'm recording so now on top of the normal planets we also have Dover Paradise all of these here so if we come into our GPS, we'll just come in here and look at them. And you can see there's Dover and Yunlur. And over here, we can see Paradise and Z. Now, we're going to hit Backspace here to respawn. And it has just added those planets to my system here. So you can see now I have a Z spawn, I have a Paradise spawn, and I have a Dover spawn right here on my menu. We are going to go right back to Space Suit though, and we are going to go into Spectator Mode. Because Spectator Mode is the faster mode of travel. See, it has added Dover and Unilar here, and it did keep them away from other planets. Uh, from everything I've been reading, your, your results may vary. So this is 
do a save backup before you add planets to an existing system just for safety sake because recreate will delete all voxels in the game and then recreate only the planets on the queue so you don't really want to do that to your existing save you'll just want to back out create another backup and replace the planets at random that's my body location and here's the other planets here that it popped in we got paradise here and we've got its moon z now, I, I don't know if Z is supposed to be Paradise's Moon, but that's okay. The mod makes it so I can just do that. It's actually a really nice, really lovely mod. I, I love what it does here. It's uh, very reminiscent of the add-on that was available to create these solar systems, but people don't trust add-ons, and it makes sense as to why. Uh, I get it. So, this is a great great alternative to that add-on and i'm really hoping to see some expansion to it I, I did see plans of including nebula from the nebula mod in here as well as a, a few other things one of the things i would love to see is for it to handle the water mod so that planets could be automatically populated with water when they're randomly placed that would be great but we'll see how that goes um I'm going to be keeping my eye on this, and I do plan on using this in my next playthrough. It is beautiful. So, thank you all for watching. And remember to check out Star System Generator. You will love it.